Palmer Donahue died yesterday, more than two weeks after he was shot, killed by gunfire while he walked in his neighborhood. And while police haven't caught his killer, those in the Chatham community are expressing concerns about what they call a problem house on the block. CBS 2's Jim Williams is in the neighborhood where there is a big police presence tonight. Jim. A big police presence, Erica. They're doing a roll call down the block. We are here at 82nd and Wentworth. This is where Homer Donahue was shot. He died yesterday. And neighbors say there's a troubled house down the block and investigators are taking a look. Jesse Roseburg says he and Homer Donahue often talked for hours here at the corner of 82nd and Wentworth. A father figure, Roseburg calls Donahue. He knew everything. He knew about politics. Mm. He knew about the streets. He knew everything. Mm. Everyone you talk to here in West Chatham has the same description of Donahue, which is why they are so shaken by his murder. Police say it appears two people walking behind Donahue were the intended targets. Donahue was a cousin of crisis responder Andrew Holmes. Well, we're still at square one, just trying to get the community to uh, step up. Those who have eyes and ears seen it, know who it is, and especially those that was being shot at. Investigators are looking into the possibility that occupants of a house in the 8200 block of South Wentworth might have some connection to the shooting. Police say they cannot reveal any more other than they did go to the home. Neighbors tell us the home has been troubled with young people making noise and hanging out in front at all hours of the night. A woman told us off camera that she was the owner but insisted there were no problems. City records show a 78 year old man owns the house. He did not return our calls. Homer Donahue died Sunday, two weeks after he was shot. I've been holding back, fighting back tears, but it is tough. Community leaders plan to meet with Alderman Howard Brookins and police in a way to, in a hope to prevent crime in this community of longtime residents and well maintained homes. Live in West Chatham, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News. Erica? Okay, Jim, thank you.